the German government is loading off all their bitcoins. Do you know what I say to them? Hock tour. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. And yes, in today's video, again, talking about the awesome news, of course, five amazing Bitcoin charts, giving you a crypto tip, talking about uh, answering the question of one of the followers, answering the question of one of the followers, and of course, ending the video with an inspirational quote. Let's quickly jump into a video. It's a little bit darkish. I'm a little bit tired because yesterday was a really, really, really busy day. Still, I want to say to the German government, Spit on it. And yes, maybe now I get some more views because I just copied that viral thing that those women should do in the evenings to the guys in bed. But we are doing this collectively now against all governments. The German government is now offloading another 900 Bitcoin. 200 Bitcoins were sent to Kraken, 200 Bitcoins were sent to Coinbase, 500 Bitcoins were sent into a new wallet that nobody knows who is owning that wallet. Now, they already offloaded, I think on the 19th of June, 6,500 Bitcoins also to centralized exchanges, probably also to sell them. The German Gummy was holding 50,000 Bitcoins in a wallet and they got those Bitcoins through confiscating them from the movie 2K company a couple of years ago. This illegal streaming company that they arrested and then they took that 50,000 Bitcoins. Now, that is why we collectively must never trust governments. Collectively, we should say this to the governments because they never have the intentions to make your life better. They only have the intentions to make their own life better even selling off these bitcoins, which of course is the most retarded thing to do of a government, because other governments are doing their ultimate best to accumulate bitcoins. Look at El Salvador, they're even mining with their volcanoes. Other countries all over the world, they are trying to mine as much as possible bitcoins to accumulate as much as possible bitcoins. Why? Because these governments probably all understand it's gonna be the goal of the 21st century, but the German government, of course, think something different and they just start to sell all of these bitcoins or they just don't understand the four-year cycle and they think this is the bull market up uh, and they won't be buying back anymore because now bitcoin after this will go up in the real bull market top in 2025 guys i don't know what it is with these governments but i just don't trust them and that is why i started to believe in bitcoin bitcoin was for me a fight against centralized entities like governments like central banks like all of those combined we will be able to disrupt all of that centralized system where a few people are in full control. We are able to disrupt this with Bitcoin. The more capital we get into Bitcoin, the more power we as people get back. The more capital we get into the banking system, the more power we are giving those centralized people. We don't want that. I don't want that. Maybe you want it. I don't want it because I don't want a social credit system future for my children. And by now we need to understand that most governments do want that Klaus Schwab future, do want that control state, because else you wouldn't have all your money on your bank accounts, because else you wouldn't be supporting all those idiots that are flying to all these islands to play around with little children and all that stuff. That is what you're doing. You're holding your money on a bank and you're supporting those elite. You should be withdrawing that money into your Bitcoin wallets. That is how you support people. That is how we form a huge wall against those governments. And they won't be able to break that wall if we do it financially. We collectively can bring down the dollar and all those other fiat shit currencies. And I believe that's also the goal of the BRICS countries. You know, Brazil, Russia, India, China, all of those BRICS countries that now are becoming a BRICS country, they all want to disrupt that dollarized future. They don't want to depend on the dollar anymore. They don't want to depend on the euro anymore. They want to have a honest currency that everyone worldwide can depend on. And I just hope that those BRICS countries, so also Mr. Putin, starts to understand that Bitcoin would perfectly fit to their plans. Bitcoin is the only decentralized store of value, peer-to-peer -peer cash, gold of the 21st century, however you want to call it. But it's the only one that's completely decentralized. Not like the dollar, not like the euro that's being printed out of thin air to keep all of us poor. And why do you stay poor? Because you keep believing those governments. Because you keep believing those centralized entities. Yes, I know we grew up in the 90s and we should be all believing those, but wake up. Wake up and look at what happened to us in the last couple of years. You were locked up. You were silenced. You were like, like face diaper. You were like injected with stuff. All of that stuff is being done to you. 
And now these governments pretend sometimes to like Bitcoin, but then offload their Bitcoins into the market just for the money. Why? Because they understand the more US dollars and Euro they have, the more control they have. And Bitcoin doesn't fit in that picture. But that's very good for us. We should now be collectively buying all those Bitcoins from the German government to take back that power to the people. So yes, I am disappointed, of course, that the German government is selling their Bitcoins. But on the other hand, every negative side has a very positive one. And a positive one today is we should be buying all those Bitcoins back with the people to take the power back to the people and to take the power away from those centralized entities like that German government. Now, let's jump into the next part. Let's see if that news did influence the charts or it is just TA. Like I always say, TA is the most important part. Uh, of course, the news can sometimes influence those emotions of the people. But let's quickly jump in the charts to see what is happening to Bitcoin today. The first chart for the day, guys, is this four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we can see we kept support here in this 58K area. We came up again, it was a long signal, a buy signal over there. We didn't uh, cross that red midline of the Bollinger Band, so we came down again, even down below the yellow stepping line, that would be a signal to sell. It would have been a trade and loss, but again, that buy signal was there with a lot of yellow and bluish, and I told you, I would not take it, so that's correct. In the one hour, you could have taken it, and you could have taken profit, but in the four hour, two week Bitcoin at the moment. Now, sideways, creating some volume. Hopefully, we won't go into the red box again, and hopefully, we will crawl up to that 62K level again to try and break that level uh, in the short term, guys. If we zoom out to the daily chart, uh, I've shown you already for a couple of days ago now, this RSI chart, you know, that I told you, every time when the RSI gets this low as we got over here, uh, we will bounce. Now, that RSI can go sideways a little bit. You come down, go up a little bit down before we break that 30 level again. At the moment, just to zoom in a little bit so you can see better, we are now here at that level there we came up a little bit uh, from 20 to 23. We came down again now to 20. So it will take some bit before we go to 30. And when we go to that 30 level again, that is the moment when the market definitely will turn around. That's the moment when we will see a market uh, bouncing again. Like this is the daily chart. Uh, on the daily chart, a 200 day moving average is one of the most important averages. We kept support on that one till now. We didn't even touch it yet. Uh, from here, we will go up. And if you look at that daily chart, there are so many things you can see. But you know, it's all not completely like a clear, clear view. If I would draw, for example, over here, this here, there down, up, down, could be a W if we come up again. You know, there is a lot of possibilities. And if that is a bubble W, we will break out maybe to the ADK level. So there's a lot of possibilities. I want you to understand that you need to zoom out, look at that bigger picture. There's a daily chart, but the moment you look at the weekly or monthly, you do understand that the bull market top will be in September, October, November, December, somewhere there in 2025 not on 2024, that we can still create an all-time high. Like we could go higher than the 74K level. Maybe we could go to 80K somewhere in December this year. But the top will be in 2025. Now, some other charts, guys. This is the first one. Uh, this chart is showing you kind of what is happening at the moment to the market. Here, this is when the bank failures were, the USDC FUD, it was seven days long. There is when we dropped 22%. Now, we dropped another time, 20%. And then we dropped another time, 20%. Here there was a post ETF sell-off, another 20%. So in total, that is now one, two, three, four times that we already dropped 20% in this bull market. And then here we have the fifth time, and now we have the sixth time that we dropped 20%. The thing that I want to show you now is that every time when we drop those 20%, that's not the end of Bitcoin. That's just the beginning of another run. And when we drop 20%, that's just the beginning of another run. And we, we drop 20%, that's not just the beginning of another run. Every time when we drop 20%, we climb again. And now we are dropping 187 maybe even also already 20% at the moment. What do you think it will happen after? We are still in a bull market. This is not the bear market. These dips are part of the game. And every time when we dip, we should be buying those dips. Stop crying, start buying and make profit in that run that comes after that dip. This is not the end of Bitcoin. We are still fully in a bull market. These dips are for buying. Here you can see even better that we have these consolidation phases many times. This one was April, almost till September. 
This was complete consolidation. This is 2023. Sideways, 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 before we went bam up to that level again of 74. So the consolidation here is not bad. That is not bad. That's just fighting that key resistance that you see over there. Like we are fighting the key resistance of 30K over there. These are just important levels that we try to break. And every time when we fail, we build up again to try it again. And that's exactly what you see happening here. We are consolidating. We try to break that 74K. And every time we fail, we come back here to the 60K levels and we will try again. And when we break it, we will break it beautifully all the way up to maybe 80K or 90K. These consolidations are part of the game. They happen throughout a bull market. We can't just go up in one direct line. We need to go up, sideways. Go up, sideways. Go up. That's how you build structure. That's how you build volume on certain levels that will become support in the future. And this one you can see that the Bitcoin speculation intensity is not that high at the moment. We are dropping. And whenever that Bitcoin speculation drops, that's also when the price mostly drops. And the moment we start to increase again in the Bitcoin speculation, that's also when the price will increase. So yes, we can drop for a little bit more. We can even drop here to that baseline. So yes, that doesn't mean we drop largely with the price, but it does mean that we could go sideways during that period. Because you know, the first part you start dropping, but then after that first drop, you go sideways. You see, if you now draw that box, it's not that we go even deeper, it's just that we go sideways. Every time over here, you drop, that's the first drop, and then you go sideways and you can still see that yellow down below. The moment we get on top again over here, that is a good moment you start to run again. And that will happen here as well. We can drop a little bit more, maybe one, two, three weeks, and then bam, go up again. Chart is by Willy Woo. You can find these on WooCharts.com, guys. So for me, this is the biggest buying opportunity of this time at the moment. So you should be buying Bitcoin. Use Blowfin or Bybit at the moment. Bybit is KYC. Blowfin is no KYC. Bybit has a bonus of up to $30,000. Blowfin a 10% deposit bonus. Plus you can win a Rolex and a, a lot of prizes on Blowfin. And on Bybit you can join other competitions. Maybe you should sign up to both of them to play around with them and see which one is better. Use the links down below. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, short term, volatility is to trade. Zoom out, look at that bigger picture. We are just after the halving. We are gonna go in another 12 months of bullishness in this next year to 2025. That is gonna be the ultimate top of this bull market. Don't have weekends, don't be fooled, don't look at all the news, don't give a fuck about the German government or any other government selling their Bitcoins. Just scoop up these Bitcoins. Collectively, we'll be pushing Bitcoin all the way to 2025's new bull market top. The crypto tip for today guys has to do with the airdrop that I received yesterday. Yesterday I received the Blast airdrop. I had like 10 Ethereum staked in the Blast blockchain and I needed to do some tasks here and then and then you got an airdrop. The airdrop was okay but I probably was not as active as I should have been because I expected the airdrop to be bigger and it was not that bad but still you know if you stake 10 ETH into a blockchain for three months you expect a bigger airdrop than a couple of hundred dollars now uh, if you were more active i have seen people have six figure airdrops because they did do a lot of things they did use the blockchain more etc so i know i know i do that i only had a multiplier of 12 or something but still it's free money now the best website to find all of this free money to find all of these airdrops is airdropalert.com. Airdropalert.com is already a website since I think 2017 and it's the best website out there that shows you all the airdrops on a daily basis. Every single penny that you can pick up for free in this market, you will find it in all the blogs and all the vlogs of airdropalert.com. So if you want to collect free money, go to airdropalert.com and yes, sign up. And no, I'm not being paid to shield this company. This company is owned by one of my good friends in this crypto industry, a Dutch guy, and I trust him fully. And that's why his company has been growing tremendously in those last couple of years, guys. So if you want to pick up free money, go to airdropalert.com. Yes, my Dutch friend, I wish you an amazing day there in Mexico.
And by answering the question uh, of one of the followers, we are come to the point of Julian Assange. Why don't you talk about Julian Assange? Did he? This is a freedom uh, fighter like you. Yes, I know. I just was a little bit busy in the last couple of days, so couldn't fit it every time in. But Julian Assange is free. He's walking as a free man again after, like, I think 12 to 14 years being locked up or either in an embassy or either in a jail. He was locked up for a long time. Why? Because he was spreading the truth about the true criminals the governments and all those centralized banks, etc. He was showing the world with WikiLeaks who were the real criminals. He was showing all of those war crimes, all of those bad things that governments, banks, and all of the centralized people did to humanity. He publicly opened WikiLeaks to show all those documents to all those people worldwide to see who were the real criminals. And that is the only reason why he was insulted of rape and why he needed to lock himself up somewhere in an Ecuadorian embassy, whatever it was, and then in prison and everything, because he was telling the truth. And that's exactly what is wrong with this world. People that try to tell the truth, that show the truth publicly with papers, black on white, written, Everything was completely clear. And if you show this, they will fuck you up. They will lock you up. They will do whatever they can to destroy you. And that is how they keep their lie alive. That is how they keep their people in control. That is why you are still holding your money on banks. That is why you still trust those governments when they say there is some kind of a flu. That is why you trust those people. Because they will hide the truth from you because they can. And if somebody, one person, Julian Assange, comes up and shows that truth, they will make sure they silence him or destroy him or even kill him. That is just how this world works. Sad enough. I'm very happy, of course, that Julian is free. Congratulations, Julian, with his long fight. Congratulations with walking barefooted, probably again on the beach or somewhere where you are. Uh, but again, guys, let it be a lesson. These governments are not working for you. Of course, you're always running off to be voting on people. You're not voting on people. You're voting for the next person that's going to enslave you. You're voting for that next person that's going to force you to do whatever you don't want to do. Because if you bring out the truth about that person, bam, you will be locked up as well. Or maybe worse. So for me, of course, Julian is a very important person in history that really showed who the real criminals were, but he was silenced. I believe we need to keep showing who the real criminals are. I believe we need to keep showing all the world who is doing all those war crimes. How does it all function? Why is there even a war between Russia and Ukraine? Do really people still believe that Ukraine is fighting Russia? You still don't understand it's the United States that's fighting Russia? The United States delivering billion dollar worth of weapons, the newest high tech systems to Ukraine to be able to fight Russia? You still don't understand that? You don't understand that, for example, the United States wants to fight Russia because Putin was like the person that came up with the BRICS countries. Already in 2009, he came up with this. In 2009, he already said, hey, maybe we should de-dollarize the world. Maybe we should make the world more equal and use a currency that we all support or a basket of currencies as a world reserve currency. And that is how we founded the BRICS countries. And that is how huge countries now worldwide are all joining the BRICS alternative. There's not even stepping down of the petrodollar, so even the dollar is not connected to oil anymore. You don't think that America wants to fight. Of course the United States is fighting that. And the United States knows they are going down. They are going down, they are gonna lose that fight. But they don't wanna lose that fight without taking other people with them down as well. So if other people will take it over the power of the United States, then it will be a war. And it will be a massive war, probably, and the war will end negative for all the world. The only person at the moment that is kind of acting as an adult, I think, is still Putin. Because there were enough events created by the United States, by Ukraine, for him to start the Third World War already. He didn't start that Third World War because he is an adult. He thinks it's not good for the world to have a Third War. And don't get me wrong, I'm not like, ooh, I'm in love with Putin. No, I just believe that he sees a little bit more clear what is good for the world at the moment. And he wants a world reserve currency that is not controlled by one country. Because that has shown in the last 100 years to what that has led to wars every now and then all over the world. And every time it were dollarized wars. I agree with Kim.com. I don't know if you saw his interview with Alex Jones, but I saw it. I agree with him. There is way more playing in this world than we know of. And I think Julian Assange was, was an example that was showing the truth.
But we need way more people like him that also show the truth and that do start to believe the truth and that really start to understand that there is no war between Russia and Ukraine, but that there is a huge war between the United States and Russia. That is what the truth is. The same way it was not the truth that they were telling you about all those viruses. No, it was not the United States. We have seen now. It was funded by the United States in a lab in China because they were not allowed to fund a project like that in the United States. So they funded it in China. They created that virus. They all have been lying to us for years while they knew the truth. They knew who created the virus. They knew where it came from. They knew how it got out. And still they kept lying. Please wake up. The government is not your friend. They are lying to you. They are keeping you poor so you stay in control. As simple as that. You need to be poor and then they have control. That is why they fight against Bitcoin. That is why you are not able to use Bybit, for example, in the Netherlands anymore on a normal way. They don't want you to become rich. They have seen how many people in the Netherlands became rich because of Bitcoin. Stop. You're not allowed to. Ah, let's uh, chase away Binance. Let's chase away Bybit because those are the two biggest exchanges of the world at the moment. Yes, Bible is the second largest. Let's chase away all of those because we don't have control on these exchanges. Uh, we need to push forward these exchanges that we have control on, that we have fully regulated KYC, AML, blah, 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 blah. Again, that against all those governments. So yes, that was my part about Julian Assange. Yes, I love that he is free again, but we need to have more people like him that show the real truth to humanity. And then we come to the end of the video, guys, the inspirational part. And the inspirational part today is something I've run into many times in my life. And I just want to give you this motivational quote that probably will help you. When someone tells no to me, it doesn't mean that I can't do it. It just means that I can't do it with him or her. When people tell you no, that is not the end. That is the beginning of you doing it in a different way with different people. Because those naysayers, those no people, they won't bring you any further in life. They will say no to any amazing idea. They will say no to everything you come up with. Leave those no peoples behind. Say goodbye. Goodbye. And then they will still say, no, no, no. Yeah, goodbye. Go. Start to focus on yourself, on your gut feeling. Start to focus on the people around you that are supportive, that do say yes, that do want you to succeed. And start to understand that when someone tells you no, even if it's your family, even if it's your best friend, that doesn't mean you can't do it. It means you can't do it with him or her. You need to do it by yourself or you need to do it with other people that do believe in that plan, that do believe in that future, that do believe in that change of life. It's very simple. Don't depend too much on all those naysayers. Those naysayers will always be there. 80 to 90% of people are always negative. They don't believe in pursuing your dream. They don't believe in pursuing their dreams. They don't believe in fighting for freedom. They don't believe in doing whatever their gut feeling is telling them to do. They will believe what other people tell them to do. They will believe centralized entities like governments, like bosses, like all those people that tell them what to do every day. They will believe that because they don't want to think for themselves. Those are the naysayers. Those are the people that always say no. No, 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 don't do it. No, 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 that's too dangerous. No, 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 that's too risky. When people tell you no, just search for people that will say yes to yourself. Because if someone tells you no, it doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means you can't do it with him. But you need to still keep pursuing your dreams. You need to still keep searching for your passions. You need to still keep focusing on your core abilities, on yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in all the things that you're dreaming of. Let them say no and start to focus on another direction, guys. That's the inspirational part for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, what do you think about all the charts? What do you think about all the tips? What do you think about all the other stuff in this video? Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow, Friday again, probably Friday. I will take a day off, so only do an AMA in the evening around four o'clock. So no video in the morning tomorrow, but an AMA around four o'clock. Wish you an amazing day. See you tomorrow again. Bam.